Oh, Miami. and John, can you, can you please tell the people what you said off field, what you think that, that Miami should do, please? <laughs> what has them? I'm asking <laughs> if, if, right, because we, uh, who was it? Um, talked about Chris Paul, um, oh, Patrick Beverly said that there were moments of the game where he probably should have gone to his bench and pulled Chris Paul. And I don't think that's completely wrong. If your guy is showing a lack of passion, emotion, not fighting for rebounds, when you know he's completely capable of it, there's no one on Boston who's physically who can who's physically better than Bam out of bio at, at attacking them, you know, getting boards, boxing out. There's just not. So it's got to be on his end if he's not getting them. So yeah, I say, listen, I would bring out Udonis Haslam for like five minutes. Why not? Why not? I would out it, it, because you know what? You have to be able to you have to be able to show like and by the way, if, if they get scrubbed in those five if they get scrubbed in the first two minutes, three minutes he's out there, obviously pull him. But I'm serious about like going to your bench and letting your guys know like, man, if you're not gonna do what it takes, I will go get guys who aren't as talented as you or are older or less athletic than you, but want it more. Um and Honestly, I don't think it's a terrible option. Now, obviously, I'm not playing up 25 minutes, my goodness. But um, why do you have a player – why are you wasting a roster spot on a guy that you never intend to play? If that's the case, then I don't understand in the first place. But, yeah, I'd bring him out for like three to five minutes and just see what kind of energy he brings to the game, leadership, energy, anything. Sure. What you got to say on that, Nico? John tripping for one, but um, <laughs> but but with his explanation, it makes sense. It do though. I ain't gonna 